Hi everyone! In this video I just wanted to show you how you can update your digital planner that you get from me for the OneNote. So if you've ever purchased a digital planner from me specifically for the OneNote, it's easy for me just to give you the updated templates for um, the one that you bought. So in this scenario I found some like little typos here and there and then I forgot a couple of templates that I was supposed to include in this OneNote digital planner for this version. So I'm just going to show you um, how you can go ahead and update your existing OneNote digital planner. You don't have to re-download the file, although I do update the download link if you do ever want to go back into your email um, that you had received from me or your account on the little piece of happiness website you can always read down the most updated version for this um, scenario i'm just going to go ahead and give you the zipped file for the jpegs of these templates so looking at this digital planner these are where all my templates are stored on the template page i think i want to go ahead and um, add in my missing templates. So for this one, I noticed that it says January to December, but then when I was scrolling through it, I accidentally put the July to June version in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out July to June. And July to June looks good. So I wanna go ahead and update the January to December page within my template section and you will go ahead and receive a zipped file for these updated templates, anything that I think I've changed since then. Depending on when you've purchased the digital planner, you may have already had some of these updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's scroll down here on a blank area of this page. And let's see, what is it called? Yearly vertical blank, and this is January to December. I'll just plug that right there. So I am, um, I'm selecting the image right now because I just want to resize it to match my other templates that I have in here. Keep in mind that this larger template is set to background right now, so it's not going to move anywhere. But this current one is not set to background, so I can move it anywhere I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and resize this to the size that I want. I think that looks about good. So now I'm gonna go ahead, and as you can see, this has changed. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. And then I'm gonna go up here, and I want to replace this version that says July to June. In order to do that, I need to set pictures back on and remove that setting so that I can now move it. If I just, if I don't move this file, if I just click on it and I hit delete, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Control V, or you can do Paste. I like to do Control V. That way my cursor stays where it is. Now this has replaced that July to June. It has become January to December. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Set Picture Back as Background, just so I have that template. My OneNote Digital Planner is up to date. I'm gonna go ahead and show you another example. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and update the Sleep Tracker. So to update this page, I'm just going to repeat the same process. So I'm on the sleep tracker page and I'm just going to scroll down to an empty area. Go to my updated templates and it is the sleep tracker. I included both the January to December version and the July to June. Um, just again, depending on which one you didn't receive or you need an updated version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the July to June in here. Scrolling back up, I want to go ahead and match that size. I think that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and place it down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that to background. That way, if I ever want to look at my templates, I have all my templates here. Now, you don't have to add all of these templates into your OneNote digital planner. I'm just wanting to show you how you can insert other templates from outside sources. Let's say you bought um, 
like a digital planner page from someone else and it's a JPEG file or if it's a PDF, you can always convert it to a JPEG file and you can insert it into your digital planner the same way that I did by just putting it in as an image and then just moving it anywhere that you want in your digital planner. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, please comment in the box below. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you again for your purchase. Bye guys.